Good morning. It's pretty early and I'm out here in the woods looking for barred owls. This time of year the young owls, the fledglings, have just left the nest and they're out there learning how to hunt and fly. And they're just really, really cute and funny little guys to photograph. So I'm really hoping I'll find a couple of those today. But um, as always, we're dealing with nature and wildlife and there are absolutely no guarantees. But join me on my little adventure today and let's see what we can find. <laughs> Okay, so I wasn't having much luck, but that just changed. I just spotted my first owl of the day. And the way I found it was there was a bunch of songbirds going nuts. And you know, that's usually a good sign that they're trying to scare a predator away. And sure enough, when I came over, they were mobbing a, an adult barred owl. And I was just setting up to get the shot and then the bird scared the barred owl away and flew across the little marsh here to the other side. But um, I can still hear them, so I'm gonna go over and see if I can find them. Okay, so I just found the side of the, of the little marsh and he's sitting right up here now. I'm not sure you'll be able to see him. I'll just show you on the back of my camera. There's a blackbird going nuts. I'm just flying around trying to get him away from there.
I'm back home again and I'm feeling absolutely fantastic after an incredible experience with the owls out in the forest. Now it's time for the next step in the process which is editing the photos. And I'm going to show you how I edit my photos in just a moment, but first I'd like to do a very quick gear breakdown so you have an idea of what I was using to capture the images. Nikon D500, Sigma 150 to 600 millimeter f5 to f6.3, Nikon 300 millimeter prime f4, Surui tripod, this is the N3204X, Manfrotto video head, this is the MVH 500AH, and personally, I prefer a video head for both still photography and video. That was a quick breakdown of my gear. Let's move on to editing the photos. I'll see you in Lightroom in just a moment. Okay. I've opened Lightroom and I've loaded up all my images of the owls. This is my favorite photo of the day, so I'll be using that as the example of this little walkthrough. I will shoot raw, and this particular image was shot at ISO 560, 300 millimeters f4 at 1 50th of a second. So 1 50th of a second is a long exposure for wildlife. That's because uh, the owls were sitting out in the dark forest, so I needed a longer exposure to be able to get a nice sharp uh, image to keep the ISO down and to maintain all the details and colors. So uh, that's why I always bring my tripod and that's why I prefer a video head because it gives me a very stable setup so I can avoid any shake in the long exposure. Um, that would just not be possible to do if you were hand-holding and also if you were hand-holding you would need a much higher shutter speed and then you would automatically bump the ISO up to uh, maybe six or eight thousand or something like that and then you'd lose a lot of the details. If, you, if we zoom in here you'll see that it is tack sharp. We can see all the details and the little feathers and so on. So all in all this is an image that will take very little post-editing and that's just the way I like it because I believe in getting the best possible image on the spot when you're out there shooting. So I try to compose in camera, get the exposure, shutter speed, everything just right. So all I'm really going to do here is just um, a few little details. I'm going to enable profile corrections. I've got the profiles for my lenses loaded up. Then I'm going to uh, bump the contrast a little bit here. I'm going to bump the shadows because I'd like to bring out a little bit more detail, especially in the owl's feathers. I'm going to crank the vibrance just a little bit to bring out to make the colors pop a little bit more and then I'm going to crop it a bit tighter on the little owl here because I want a little bit more focus on him. Oh, just a little correction here. There we go. And that is basically all I'm gonna do. Now the next step is to print the image. And that's the true test. When you can stand there with your physical print in your hands, you can really see all the details and so on. You can really see if the image is as good as you hoped. The moment of truth. Let's have a look at the final product. I just printed and framed it, and here we go. I've taken a lot of photos of barred owls, but this one is very special to me because this image is exactly what I've been seeing inside my head for quite a while now, and I'm absolutely thrilled that I finally managed to capture it on camera. I wanted a photo of a juvenile barred owl sitting on a nice mossy branch like this because that really represents the Pacific Northwest to me. I wanted to capture it against a nice calm background like this. That's difficult with barred owls because you photograph them out in the forest and they're usually perched against a very messy background with branches and leaves and all kinds of stuff going on. I'm going to call this Young Philosopher for the simple reason that that was the first thing that popped into my mind when I saw the finished print. Now you've seen my entire process and you've followed along step by step. You've seen how I found the owls, how I photographed them, the gear I used, how I edited the, the photos, and also the final print. If you're interested in checking out more of my wildlife photography and video, please go to my website michaelagard.photo. All there is left to say now is thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you again someday.
Bye-bye for now. Thank you.